Welcome. My name is Greg Herter, and I want to welcome you to this webinar on the future of real estate marketing. Before we get to work, I want to cover some logistics. First, I want to thank you for your time today. I know how valuable time is, so my goal is to provide you with a great deal of value for the time you will invest today. I will not only give you some valuable insight into where the future of real estate marketing is heading, I will teach you a way to make every one of your sellers feel like you are doing a fantastic job marketing their home for a tiny amount of money. It is something I positive will soon become a standard operating procedure within real estate in the next couple of years, but right now you can capitalize on it in a huge way. Also, for those of you who stay with me to the end of the webinar, I have a free gift for you. I will give you a copy of our special report titled 10 Top Agents Share Their Insights in the Future and give their number one recommendations on how to build a thriving business in the future of real estate. This is a $99 value and you will get it free just by staying to the end. At the end, I will also open it up to questions and answers. So if you've got some paper, some pen, take some notes. Also, I think I've de got the ability to download a little workbook here to go along with this. So I want to give you great value out of our webinar today. So before we start, I would like you to close your email. Turn off your phone, close your door, eliminate all the distractions you can, and get ready to take some notes. You set aside your valuable time to be here, and I want to make sure your time isn't wasted by distractions. So first of all, understand real estate is in a constant state of change. An agent's success has always been and will always be based on the effectiveness of two critical elements. First of all, their effective marketing. How well can they attract clients coming to them? And second, efficient systems. If you have great marketing without systems, your service falls apart and kills your reputation. On the other hand, you can have great systems that would provide amazing customer service, but if you have no customers, you're going to starve. You've got to have both of these to truly thrive. Most agents struggle to consistently generate a steady stream of new clients. They are on what I call the real estate roller coaster. They go out there, they do some activities, some prospecting, and it's labor intensive, and they get a bunch of clients, and now they get busy with transactions. And now they complete all the transactions, and now their productivity falls down. And I want to get you out of the roller coaster. The traditional way of prospecting that agents are still being taught perpetuates this system. The problem is most prospecting activities are built on labor-intensive activities and is dependent upon an agent's actual work. And that's not the best method to really build a business. The other thing that people really struggle with is efficient systems. The efficiency of your systems determine how much business you can actually close and still have time for an outside life. The majority of great agents have their income limited by the systems they have in place. And I see so many good agents that could do so much more, earn so much more, but they're stuck with what I call the level of their efficiency. They can't figure out how to close more transactions without totally killing themselves. But I want you to know today's new breed of agents are using technology to create more effective marketing, and more efficient systems than ever before. I think Phil Herman is a classic example of this. Now, he started this a number of years ago, but he has now closed over 6,000 real estate transactions. If you think about it, that's averaging 240 closed transactions a year for 25 years. Now, this is great marketing with incredibly efficient systems. This is what you can accomplish. An agent like Frederick Elkland has done an amazing job, and since 2005, he's closed over $2 billion in real estate. And he immigrated here from Sweden and had to figure everything out. To me, this is what is possible. The agents at the top of the industry are doing so incredibly well. 
Frederick built his name into a personal brand so that prospects could clearly differentiate him from his competition. He then used new technology tools to spread his brand so that he can have people calling him every day. And that's the great power of marketing. You can now have a flow of business coming your way. The problem is, most agents are always doing more of what, all, what is already working okay, but just doesn't work and scale at a higher level. See, what I found is this, you can rarely solve your systems problems or your marketing problems with the thinking, without thinking at a higher logical level. You've got to think at a different way. See, so many people say, oh, Greg, how can I door knock more? Well, no matter how much you door knock, you're not going to get to the level of fill each and every year. It's absolutely impossible. So what you have to do is start thinking about a different way of looking at it. The future of real estate prospecting is not in traditional one-on-one -on -one prospecting methods. And that's the first thing I really want you to know today. The real estate game changers are creating a whole different way of activity. This is Facebook and Twitter and Google and YouTube and Pinterest and all these new tools that are just changing the game. Now, when I got into real estate, I was taught by a number of top agents what they did in the past to succeed. My broker told me about his success. They taught me how to door knock and leave my company door hangers with a business card then. When I got into real estate, I was by taught when I got into real estate, I was taught by a number of top agents what they did in the past to succeed. They taught me how to door knock and leave my company's door hangers with my business card in them. After a year of starving, I finally took a marketing class and said, you know, this is not working for me. Now, one of my assignments was to create a marketing campaign for any product or service that I wanted. Now, being a realtor, I decided to market real estate. So I came up with a logo with a house in it. I created flyers, direct mail pieces, an ad campaign. I put together what I thought was an absolutely incredible marketing campaign. Now, I thought for sure I was going to get an A on this assignment. And I'm a student that got A's in almost everything all the time. But I was shocked when I got my assignment back. I got a C minus on the assignment. I was so upset by this, I went to see the professor. And I said, why did I get a C minus on this assignment? And he looked at me and said, Greg, I have a question for you. Tell me, what product are you selling in this campaign? I said, well, isn't it obvious? I'm selling real estate. There's a picture of a house. There's all this real estate information. And he looked at me and said, Greg, that's why you got a C minus. Everything you turned in was very, very creative, very well done. And that's why I still gave you a C minus, even though I really felt like you deserved an F. I said, I don't understand. Everything I did was creative, well done, professional. Why do you think I deserve an F? And he looked at me and he said, Greg, I really want you to think about my question before you answer it. What is the product that you, Greg Herter, are selling in this campaign? Now, I thought about this and I said, well, you know, I'm a realtor. I'm selling my services. He looked at me and he said, well, I think you're at least starting to get it. You did an amazing job marketing that home. But there's nothing in your campaign, nothing in your ads, your marketing, your flyers that markets your services. The reason you deserve an F is that you create a campaign for the wrong product. I finally got it. I realized that I was the product that I was selling my services. And I didn't talk about my services, what I was doing. 
Once this light bulb went on, I realized I had to turn myself as an agent into a brand. And it changed everything. It totally transformed my real estate career. My sales picked up. I did amazingly well. And other agents started asking me, could you create marketing like that for me? Since that time, I've gone on to become called, be called the father of personal branding. But what I have always really done is tried to see where real estate is going in the future. I don't want to teach agents what worked in the past or what is no longer relevant today. I've always want to say, what is going forward? Where is the future headed? Today, the real estate marketplace is doing well. And here's the sad part, even using outdated marketing methods, agents are still making decent money. Unfortunately, if anything happens in the marketplace, they will be left struggling to generate business and to make their clients happy. I want to give you a little warning. They are setting themselves up to fail in the future because they are not embracing trends. This is absolutely critical to understand. Traditional prospecting based on based on one on one contact definitely works, but it is limited to how hard and how long you can personally work as an agent. And if you want to work long and hard, then keep doing it. The future of real estate is clearly defining your personal brand and then consistently keeping that brand in front of a targeted digital online farm. And this is the future of real estate. It's online digital farming. This is done through a combination of online advertising, social media, email, YouTube videos, and a website that has interactive landing pages. And here's the key. They all have to be integrated and work together effectively. It drives me crazy when I see people say, oh, this is the magic tool. This is all you need. No, there is no one magic tool. It's a complete marketing campaign that will create incredible magic results if you integrate it together. I really believe that the 80-20 rule is quickly becoming the 95-5 rule in real estate. And the agents who are tapping into the new digital technology are truly running away from the pack. Now is the time to take control of your real estate future. So how do you do this? Well, step one is to make sure that you have a powerful personal brand that clearly sets you apart from the mass agents in the marketplace. I am so frustrated when I see agents doing the same old thing again. They don't have any differentiating point of view. If you are not different, you're just another realtor. And we all know too many realtors. Think about how to truly be different. Think about Reed Griner. His differentiating factor is that he uses his Scottish heritage to be different. It's the great Scott. And I want you to realize that it is so powerful to have a differentiating point of view. And now everything he does, from his website to his social media, all has a perspective that makes a huge difference. Maybe you're into flying. The Fosters love flying. And so they have a whole marketing campaign built on this concept of life without limits. And it's clearly different than the average realtor. Ruth has a roadmap for success using her love for travel and how she guides people to the right real estate experience. I want her, you to realize that whatever you're passionate about, you have to turn into a differentiating factor. Yolanda Muckle talks about how to picture yourself with your family. And she uses her love of photography and family to create a difference in people's brains. See, you've got to start and say, okay, what does my brand stand for? These are all incredibly powerful brands, but each one of them has a distinct identity that separates them out. We think about Apple, and we're willing to pay a premium for their innovative, creative products and services. Think about Louis Vuitton. Now, Louis Vuitton makes incredibly expensive 
leather goods. Now, they have built a demand for those goods around the world. Now, they're often knocked off, but there's something unique about having a true Louis Vuitton handbag. Women are willing to pay an incredible amount of money for that. Now, think about it. Do you think Louis Vuitton could come along and say, let me create a cheap purse. Instead of paying, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars, I'm going to create a $150 Louis Vuitton purse. And they'd probably initially sell a ton of those. But as soon as they did, all the people paying thousands of dollars for a true Louis Vuitton bag would say, well, gosh, there's no more advantage of buying Louis Vuitton at $1,000. Anybody can get one. And the prestige, the unique value of them would be gone. You always have to make some trade-offs between, gosh, here's my identity and here's the marketplace I'm willing to walk away from. See, Nike could sell cheap tennis shoes probably sell a lot of them because they're Nike, but it would hurt their long-term brand. Starbucks could sell, you know, a variety of different products that would undermine their brand, but they stay true to what they do, and that allows them to create their identity. I want you to realize this is critically important to really think through. What is your brand? What do you stand for? Now, it doesn't matter what your brand is as long as it's clearly differentiating you from all the other realtors. Now, the one thing I see so many agents struggle with is they say, well, Greg, I, I'm going to base my campaign on service. No. Every realtor claims to provide great service. None of your competitors are coming along and saying, gosh, you should work with me because I'm a, you know, do not provide good service. Even the people that offer discounted commissions, claim to provide great service. So that's not enough. I want you to realize you've got to find something that's truly different about you, your image, your reputation. And now, this becomes the cornerstone of all your marketing. So that now, every time I see one of your ads, your flyers, your piece of marketing materials, your marketing message shows up. At just at a glance, this is the start of a great marketing campaign, having a slogan, a logo that visually differentiates you based on a point of differentiation that runs throughout all your marketing campaign. Now, I just want to make sure that you are with me here, so I just want to ask you a very quick question. Next to the screen, right here, I'm going to put a little uh, yes or no. And I just want to ask you this question. Do you see the critical value of developing a strong personal logo that ties all your marketing activities together before you do anything else? So right next to the screen, just give me a yes or no. All right. I uh, see some feedback coming here. And this is not hard. I want to make sure you are with me. So far, I see only 61% of you have actually responded. This is a very quick click, so just, you know, up there. All right, don't make me come through the screen and, you know, smack you here. So I see the vast majority of you are saying yes. I see a couple of you are breaking my heart. You don't see the value. I want you to know this makes such a huge difference. Once you have a powerful, differentiating personal brand identity, now, you have to learn how to spread that using social media. But instead of using that and going and door knocking and cold calling the way we used to, we are now going to spread that personal brand through digital farming. You've got to master these social media tools. You've got to figure out how to use these tools effectively to get your brand message out there. But now, here's the key. If you don't have a brand message, Getting on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram won't help. You'll just be spinning your wheels. And this is where I see, see so many agents, they say, Greg, I'm on social media. But it's not generating a ton of business for me. I say, well, what brand message are you communicating? 
See, if you talk to the people that are doing well in social media, they always start with, gosh, here's the brand identity that we want to communicate and make sure that we're effectively communicating across everything you do. You need to understand the strength of each social media tool and then how to use that tool effectively. Every social media tool has its own rules, its own etiquette of what is right and wrong, and you have to understand these. People say, well, Greg, what is the single most effective way to generate new clients for your personal Facebook page? Well, I just want to get some feedback here. Right now, just in the text box, type your answers to this question. What is the single most effective way to generate new clients from your personal Facebook page. Now, I know the answer to this, but I want to see what you're putting in there. All right, I see one person post pictures of new listings. No. Talk about your services and how they're different from other agents. <laughs> I know you need to be different, but no, that's not the answer. Post unusual pictures of real estate. Post links to your blog posts. No. Post videos and listings, and, and I want to be clear, posting unusual pictures of real estate is not the best way to generate business. All right, I see somebody post videos of your listings. No, run ads, no. You guys are killing me. <laughs> post your logo. No. You guys are just, you know, making this stuff up. Somebody says post testimonials from your clients. You know, that's not a bad idea, but it's not the best way to really generate business. When you post a testimonial, it's not that effective because it doesn't really build your brand. Getting your clients to actually post a testimonial can be effective, but I have still not seen the number one way of generating new business on Facebook. So, let me ask you this. How many of you think knowing the answer to that question would be fairly valuable, fairly valuable to you? So, let me put it up there. Just a uh, Yes, very valuable. No, not valuable. Just answer that. All right, I see the vast majority of you really do think this would be valuable. Well, let me give you a tip, and this is going to be worth the entire time you invested here today. I found this over and over and over again. The best way to generate business on Facebook is posting selfies with you and your clients. It is the number one lead generating thing you can post on Facebook. Now, this gets engagement with your clients. First of all, when you post a picture of you and your clients on your Facebook page, they always look at it. They always comment at it. Now it goes to their Facebook page. Once you master how to get this engagement, it becomes a non-stop lead generating tool because their friends get to see it. This is so incredibly powerful. Marguerite Gager. A wonderful realtor from Tacoma, Washington does this. Here she's giving away keys after a closing to her clients. Here, Peggy Lucas does the same thing. I want you to realize how powerful this is. Priscilla Rodriguez always takes selfies with her, her clients, throughout a transaction, and this makes such a huge difference. Now, the second most effective thing you can post on Facebook are pictures of your actual clients. Now, this is funny. You're with your clients. You're showing properties. Take pictures of them. Take the pictures of them throughout the process. This makes such a huge difference. Here, Peggy posts a picture of uh, her clients getting signing their loan documents. And she gets like 91 likes to this. Here, Marguerite has one of her clients signing loan documents again every step along the way. The more activity you get like this, the better off you're going to be. Clients provide social proof to their Facebook friends. This is so much more powerful than posting another home listing on Facebook. So what you have to do is start with what's my point of differentiation and now you start posting selfies on Facebook. And the interesting thing is now you can start telling your story. You will get questions. This will generate so much value for you. The problem is is that most agents are trying too hard to sell on social media. No, it's about building relationships. Yes, you have a differentiating message, but you have to bring it out naturally. 
In the social media world, it's called engagement. And the old prospecting methods, where you're going out and searching and trying to convince somebody that you're a good realtor, does not work. What you have to do is engage people so that now, in today's skeptical world, they see you interacting. They say, oh, that's the type of person I would like to work with. It's drawing them in through the story you tell about your brand, the engagement you have with your clients. Today, you've got to engage people in social media in very effective ways. Otherwise, it will not get you value. Here's what I found. People love to buy. But we all hate being sold. Learning to engage your clients in social media conversations is actually the fastest way to turn social media into commissions. Now, I spent a lot of time about talking about this at my three-day marketing mastery event. I teach agents how to do this effectively, and it's so amazingly powerful. Derek Turneau wrote me this note on Facebook. He said, today I got two listings from my Facebook friends. About five months ago, I played in a golf tournament, a four-man scramble. I got teamed up with Dan and Wayne Ross. I'm not very good at golf, but I can crush the ball teeing off, and I'm sometimes funny. I gave them my personal brochure, and we talked a little bit about real estate. I took some selfies with them. A few days later, I looked them up on Facebook, asked them to be my friend, and then posted the selfies on their wall. Today, I got an email from Dan asking to meet and look at a rental home they own. I went out, looked it over, showed them my comps, and had them sign the listing all in about 15 minutes. The other person that contacted me was a high school friend of my wife. I met her once at a reception with my wife. We became friends on Facebook because we are BYU football fans. He saw my buyers and sellers talking about how much they loved working with me on Facebook, and he called me on the phone and asked me to list his home. I sent him over the listing and hope to have it back later today. I want you to realize this is an amazing lead generator if you will take advantage of it. Unfortunately, most agents aren't thinking about how do I engage people. You must master not only what you are posting on social media, but also how to advertise on social media. And posting, in addition to advertising, can be such an incredible combination. So let me give you a quick action step. Post a selfie every time with, you're with a client. It's free, it's easy, and will make you lots of money. Then set up all your clients into an advertising list so that now they're engaging with you, they're seeing you socially, but they're also seeing your ads in social media. Average agents will not do this one simple thing. And that's why they will always be average agents. They'll say, well, Greg, it makes me nervous. Here, I don't get it. We are a selfie-addicted society. If you go and ask your clients, hey, can I take some selfies with you? They're going to be thrilled. And I don't understand. People say, Greg, it makes me nervous. What would you rather do? Cold call? Door knock? Doesn't it make you more nervous? This is learning the art of client engagement and connection. If you want social media to be an effective marketing tool, you've got to do this. Now, of the people that you're starting to engage with, you have to build a targeted digital farm. And this is changing the marketing game forever. The new breed of agent is using all the information in people's Facebook profiles to build a targeted digital farm. I really believe the future of farming is digital. Now, to do this, you've got to have a focus niche or a micro niche a tiny little group that you can provide real value to. And then you're going to give this group an emotional message that connects your prospects to your personal brand. Now, once you have this marketing message that you're going to communicate, the essence of your brand, you have to do this consistently across a variety of different online and offline mediums. So no matter where I see you, you're communicating the same message. Now, today you can start online to build your digital farm. Go to Facebook's incredible graph search tool to build a laser-focused farm of prospects that share a common interest in your local marketplace. That's what graph search does incredibly well. It allows you to find people who share a common interest and are in a geographic area. 
you've got to learn to use and master these new technology tools that allow you to build a more targeted group than ever before in the history of marketing. I mean, to me, this is the future of real estate, building a highly targeted digital farm of the people that are highly likely to respond to your unique point of differentiation. Now, I have found focusing on a micro niche, a little tiny group of people, is the fastest way to build your personal brand and become the agent of choice. For new agents, it's so easy to go target a group and now start developing that quickly and effectively. Then, realize that Facebook advertising allows you to create a targeted digital farm based on everything in a person's profile. So now, you can go and say, gosh, I want to find everybody in a particular city that has interests in a particular topic. And now you can go and say, gosh, I want to get a specific group. And you can build a farm of, you know, 8,444 people who live in Mississauga, are between the ages of 30 and 50, and who are in the broad category gardening. And now you say, gosh, I can target everybody that has an interest in gardening or an interest in, you know, photography, who went to college, and notice you can build incredibly targeted farms. You can target by age group, interests. There are so many different things. You can also say, gosh, I want to target families. Maybe I want to target people that are engaged or newlyweds. And now I can target 2,600 people who just got engaged, are newlyweds, and are parents. This is a highly likely group of people that will buy real estate. You can target by relationship status, educational level. You can also target by job title. So you can say, I want to target everybody on Facebook in this area that has a particular job or a lifestyle. I can target, you know, apple pie families, urban tenants. I can target, you know, so many different groups of people. This is absolutely amazing. Facebook lets you even target people by home ownership. You can say, gosh, I want to target all the people in this particular zip code that own a house between $200,000 and $500,000. You can target renters. This is amazing. I hope you see the absolute value of this. As a marketer, I get so excited just thinking about it. How many of you can see this is a huge opportunity that if you could figure out how to tap into, could dramatically increase your productivity? Just give me a quick yes or no here. Just a quick yes or no. All right. I see the vast majority of you are starting to understand this is so exciting. You can drive prospects to a landing page through Facebook advertising. Or if people go to your website, you can use retargeting to keep your name in front of them across many different websites. This is so incredibly powerful. See, retargeting is such an amazing tool. You can put a retargeting pixel on your website from Facebook, from Google AdWords, from a wide variety of places. And now, if somebody goes to your website or your Facebook page, now every time they go to Facebook again, or a Google search, your ad can show up appropriately. It's called retargeting and it's so incredibly valuable. So I go to your website and now I start to see you all the time. And I think, oh my goodness, I, I really didn't recognize this agent, but they are everywhere. This makes you so much more powerful. Again, I just want to know, can you see how powerful this type of marketing is? Give me a quick yes or no again. I want you to realize this is so powerful. Now, I also want to ask you a question. Do you believe putting these innovative lead generating tools to work for you is important to your future income in real estate? I just want to know, do you think this is important all right, I'm seeing a lot of yeses there. All right, you guys are making my day. I believe this is absolutely critical. The next question I have for you is this. 
do you think sellers today are expecting, if not demanding, more from you as an agent than ever before? In terms of marketing quality, the service you provide. So, I want to give you a little tip on how to make every one of your sellers feel like you are the greatest marketer on the planet ever. Now, just create a little compelling story-based YouTube video of that seller's listing. So that you're a little tour guide and at the Marketing Mastery event, I spend a lot of time teaching agents how to actually do this. How to create a little interesting video of their listing so that they're the tour guide that makes a huge impact. Now, you create a small target group on Facebook that you know the seller is part of. And this is not that hard to do. You go to their Facebook page, look at some unique characteristics of them, and you create a specific targeted group. Now, you create an ad targeting the seller so that every time the seller opens Facebook, they see their home advertised. Now, this is dirt cheap, will only cost you $20 a month or so. But now every time one of your sellers goes to Facebook, they're going to see a picture of their home. Now, Peggy Lucas in Birmingham, Alabama does this. And you now see her ads following the sellers around. This is absolutely incredible. Then create a landing page which has the seller's listing video on it. Then when the seller clicks on their ad, they go to a landing page like this, see their address, and see the video of their home. This is absolutely incredible. Now, you set up a retargeting campaign so the seller home ad shows up on all the websites the seller visits during the listing period, even outside of Facebook. Now, if you do this creatively, your sellers will think you truly are the greatest marketer because they see their house advertised everywhere on the internet and they're thinking, gosh, you must be spending thousands and thousands of dollars. This is exactly what Jen Morell said. He says, in Annapolis for the three-day marketing mastery event with Greg Herter, social media is changing and I have to keep up. I used what I learned here 12 months ago to target my sellers with Facebook ads on their home. I've gone from 6 million to 18 million in production. My sellers think I'm the greatest marketer on the planet. Let me tell you, simple little things like this will make such a huge difference for you. Let me ask you, do you think agents who do this type of marketing will have a competitive advantage over other agents? Let's just do a quick poll. Let me ask you, is this something you feel you need to learn how to do? Yes. Just click on the yes. Yes, but I will wait until it's costing me a huge amount of cash before I do it. So uh, I'm going to give you three options, two yeses and a no. My sellers won't care about this. All right. I see the vast majority of you say, yes, this is something I need to learn to do. I see a couple of you saying you're going to wait until it's costing you huge amounts. And a couple of you that don't think your sellers are going to care about this, let me tell you, they do. And it's going to keep costing you more and more. Now, here's the great thing. Once you know exactly who you're targeting, then you have to figure out how to engage with them emotionally. But this is easy because you know something about them. This is so incredibly effective. You've got to learn to create ads and landing pages that tell an engaging story so that your prospects, your prospects, people that now you want to engage, will happily give you their contact information that you can follow up with. So you've got to create an interesting landing page like Christine Crockett. And now she offers a variety of different hooks to get people to respond. Now, once you get people to respond to your landing pages, you must follow up consistently so that when they are ready to buy or sell, they think of you as their agent. Here's the great thing. This is where prospecting is going. You engage people. You meet them in the digital world. Now, you follow up with them, both by email, physical mail, and a variety of things to turn them into a prospect. So, how do you do this? Well, let me give you the keys to building a successful online farm. First, 
you target a specific group based on your personality, your style, your brand message. Next, you've got to engage with them emotionally. So that now you do something that they feel like, oh my goodness, I like this person, I can connect with them, and they are willing to give you their contact information. Then you follow up consistently. Now, this seems incredibly simple, but each step must work together seamlessly, and this is where most agents fall apart. Here's the starting point. You've got to learn to reach the same group of local people on Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest. And together, now you're targeting in a variety of medium, but you're going to target the same people. This gives you a digital farm. And once you have 500, 1,000 people in a digital farm like this, now it starts to change the game dramatically. Each of the different social media tools approaches targeting differently. And so what you have to do is figure out what are the subtle yet critical differences so that I can target the same people across these different mediums. If a prospect sees your agent brand on Google, then they see it on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest. If I see you everywhere in my mind, you are a much more successful agent that I feel much more comfortable calling. Why? Because I see you everywhere. And today, everywhere is online. Now, here's the key. I've got to see you, but you've got to engage me. And you've got to learn to offer something consumers perceive as very valuable in exchange of their contact information. Now, it can be a wide variety of things. Maybe it's a buyer's questionnaire. Maybe it's a video of education. Maybe it's a special report. Today, you've got to get creative in what types of value you offer to your specific marketplace. And it's a little different for every single marketplace. At the Marketing Mastery event, we're going to spend a lot of time talking about landing pages and how to make offers that compel people to move forward. Some of the highest converting landing pages use offers about educational videos about buying or selling homes. And these are incredibly powerful. Today's top agents are creating a wide range of YouTube videos as lead generators and servicing tools. So here's my question. Are you tapping into the full potential of YouTube video marketing? If not, why not? I, I really need you to understand this, so give me a quicker yes or no. Are you tapping into the full potential of YouTube video marketing? All right, I see a couple of you are, but the vast majority of you are not. It breaks my heart. You need to be doing regular split testing on your landing pages, and as conversion rates fall on any landing page, which they always do, you need to quickly come up with the next offer. See. Today, you can't put together a lead funnel or a prospecting strategy and just leave it there forever. In the digital world, it gets old in people's minds. And so what you have to do is say, how do I vary this, have a system in place so I'm changing up what I'm doing, being consistent with my core branding message, and this will make such a big difference. Learning how to do this effectively is really the future of real estate marketing. Failing to tap into these critical tools will leave you falling behind and find it, and you'll find it harder and harder to compete in the future. Now, as your digital farm starts to generate a steady flow of new clients, it's critical that you work to put outstanding systems in place so you can scale your business without working yourself to death. And I see so many agents that are killing themselves because they don't have good excuse me, because they don't have good systems. The fastest way to kill a business is to have a great marketing without great but service systems behind it. And this was from David Ogilvie, one of the greatest marketers of our time. Great systems allow you to do more business in less time. Now, you've got to start with the CRM. Now, people say, well, Greg, what do you recommend? I always recommend Exact Contact. There's a lot of great CRMs, but Exact Contact is easy to use. And just for showing up here today, you can get a 60-day free trial to Exact Contact if you go to exactcontact.com forward slash HH. 
it allows you to build systems automatically so that now you assign a program to a client and it automatically trigger, triggers your follow-up. So it becomes automatic. The automatic follow-up systems are what turn leads into transactions. Great systems truly allow you to close more transactions in less time because you have less physically to do. So people say, well, Greg, what are the systems I really need to have in place to build a business? Well, one, a lead follow-up system so that every lead you generate, I don't care whether it comes from open house, your digital farm, a referral, you have an automatic system that says, gosh, for this particular type of lead, here's what I follow up with. Here's the emails, the mail, everything they're going to get, and it's automatic. Next, you need a listing service system so that every time you take a listing, here are the things you do to demonstrate to the seller that you are earning your commission and then some. Then, you need to have a buyer loyalty system. So once you get a prospective buyer, you build loyalty in it, and then it'll start looking for other agents. This will make such a huge difference. Next, you need a sphere of influence follow-up program. This is for my sphere of influence, my friends, my family, the people that know me and already like me, how do I stay in touch with them without ever being pushy, but to make sure that they know their business is important to me? For so many agents, this makes a huge difference in their overall productivity. Finally, you need a system for past client follow-up so that every one of your past clients goes through and knows exactly what you're going to do. Maybe it's a system like the listing follow-up system and it allows you to stay in touch with it. And this system tells you what to do each week so that you know exactly what to do, what to have happen. And it makes such a huge difference. The agents that use this say, Greg, my sellers feel like I do so much better. And it totally changes everything. Just based on what we've covered here today. How many of you can see that your current marketing systems and technologies are not truly setting you up for success in the digital future. So just let me ask you, do you think you need to use these new technologies to improve your marketing systems? Just give me a yes or no here. See, I really believe you do. Now, if you do, and I see a large number of yeses showing up here. For those of you who are saying yes, I want to tell you how you can make that happen. I want to invite you to come spend three intense days of training designed to put you on the cutting edge of real estate marketing and systems technology. Now, the dates of these our event is December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, and it's going to be at the Plaza Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. The great thing is this, come through three days with me and I promise I'll put you on the cutting edge of real estate marketing technology. and. The rooms are incredible. It's only $25 a night for people that are coming to this event. Now, I want you to take control of your future. The three-day Marketing Mastery event will transform the way your real estate business functions. At the Marketing Mastery event, you will learn how to build your personal brand so you stand out and become the agent of choice in your marketplace. I decided to become a realtor because I thought it would give me an opportunity to earn a significant amount of income and at the same time allow me to have flexible hours so I could live a more balanced life. And I talk to a lot of agents and they tell me those are the same reasons that they got into real estate as well. Well, let me tell you, when I got into real estate, I ended up working a lot more than I ever imagined and making a lot less until I figured out a few simple things. I want to teach you what you can do to make that difference. I will teach you exactly what to post on Facebook so that it will generate at least two referrals every month from your Facebook friends. You will learn step by step how to build an online digital farm that will generate a steady flow of business coming towards you. You will also learn the secret of capitalizing on landing page stories that compel buyers and sellers to give you their contact information. And we're going to spend a lot of time on this so that you can create very compelling landing pages 
even if you're not technically oriented. You also learn the four types of YouTube videos that will dramatically increase the effectiveness of your service existence. These are incredibly powerful and it's costing you every day that you don't have these. Also, you'll learn how to create YouTube listing videos that promote both your listings and your personal brand. These are so incredibly powerful. We'll also teach you how to make sure that your videos are getting viewed on YouTube effectively. Also, just for attending, you'll receive the listing service system that allows you to dramatically close more transactions in less time and still have a life. Also, for the first time at any seminar I've ever done, I will teach you how to use webinars, like the one you're on right now, to generate both buyers and seller leads. This is an incredible tool. I also teach you how to use webinars as a landing page lead generator. I have found this is incredibly effective. And once you set it up, it will work so well for you. It's truly a remarkable tool. Also, I will give you a powerful letter to send out to your past clients that you have not stayed in touch with as a way of reconnecting with them so that you can now start an ongoing campaign. So many agents say, Greg, that letter alone has made me an absolute fortune. Plus, this is going to be a very special marketing mastery event. Phil Herman will be one of the guest speakers there. And he'll be sharing with you a little bit about his amazing success and how he's closed 6,000 transactions. I'm working on having a number of other agents come and share some of their unique stories. Also, as many of you know, I've been training realtors for the last 30 years. I've spent the last 30 years doing seminars, traveling around the United States, Canada, Puerto Rico, a variety of different places, teaching agents how to market themselves. And I want you to know, I finally come to a point where I'm not willing to travel anymore. And so this is going to be a very unique seminar because this is going to be my last public seminar. And I promise you this, this will be a seminar you will never forget. It'll be unlike anything else I've ever done. And you're going to get my 30 years of experience marketing realtors in three days. I mean, let me ask you this. What would you be willing to pay for an extra 25 to 50 transactions a year for the next 10 years? Over the last 30 years, I've tracked, monitored the response of the agents that have used what I've taught them. The increase is remarkable. So let me ask you, what would the value of this really be? If you did 25 transactions a year for the next 10 years, that's an extra 250 transactions. Now, assume that your real estate commission was just $3,000. That's an extra $750,000 in commissions over the next 10 years, on top of what you're already making. I have a question. Would you invest $10,000 if you knew you were going to get $750,000 back? And don't panic. I know you're thinking right now, Greg, is this going to cost me $10,000 to come to your seminar? And I want you to know, no, it will not cost you $10,000. It will not even cost you $5,000. Now, it should cost you at least $2,500. In fact, <clears throat> last year, I went to a seminar put out by Harvard's continuing education department and it was on advanced digital marketing and media strategy and planning. Now, you'll notice they charge $2,600 for this two-day seminar. And this is what they covered. Determining business and marketing goals, basically your target marketplace, identifying your measurement objections, choosing the best process to capture metrics, defining and implementing an effective measurement plan, collecting data, and then talks about paid versus organic. You know, to me, I went to the seminar, I was expecting, gosh, I'm going to get the very best, very latest from Harvard. And 
it was a basic seminar. Now, it was good. I got some good ideas out of it. But they charge $2,600. So it should cost you at least $2,500, but it's not going to cost you that. In fact, this seminar will not even cost you $1,000. You can go to hobsford.com and register to attend the Las Vegas seminar for only $795. I guarantee you this seminar is worth 10 times that amount. And if you've been to one of my seminars before, you can register as a graduate for only $495. This is truly a remarkable value. And I offer a complete money-back guarantee. My money-back guarantee says I want you to experience zero risk when deciding to attend the seminar. It comes with a no questions asked, 100% money back guarantee. Attend the seminar and at the end of the three days, if you decide this training course is not worth five times what you paid for it, simply ask for a refund before you leave and you will get your money back. I don't want any unhappy money. I want to have people come and utilize this to transform their real estate career, to attend my final Marketing Mastery Seminar. Simply press the link on the right of the screen or go to gregherdertraining.com forward slash Vegas. Now, before I take questions, I just want you to hear what some agents have to say about attending the Marketing Mastery event. This seminar. Oh, million. I loved it. You absolutely loved it. Fantastic. What impressed me was the level of marketing materials that I received but during the entire event, where they actually gave a clear cut marketing media plan. Something that would cost thousands, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars you were getting for basically attending the seminar. That was priceless to me. Hi, my name is Adina Gittin-Smith. I'm with Keller Williams Preferred Properties. I found the seminar very informative. I especially enjoyed the pieces that talked about social media and how we should fully utilize that platform to really expand our businesses. So I, I really appreciate it. My name is it. Christine Wells and I'm with Weicker Realtors. I've been in marketing and have a marketing background but I found that these three days were a great way to incorporate, even though I had a marketing background, how to utilize every tool that he gave us. And besides, I met a lot of great people and new friends, and it was definitely worth every cent. I can't believe the incredible value that I've received in the last three days. The information, some of the things I had heard before, but it reinforced that and, and made me remember that I had learned that before. And a lot of the things were powerful new things that I had never heard and I planned to put into action. So I'm very grateful that I Before I open it up to questions, I would like to give a little feedback today. Whether or not you decide to attend my final seminar, I want to know, did you get value from this webinar today? Did I at least stimulate your thinking, get you to look at things a little bit differently? So just give me a yes or no, did you get value? All right, I really appreciate that. I really do appreciate the people, you investing your time here today. And I'm gonna pull a link up now for you to download the special report that I offered you earlier. Now, what I wanna do is open it up to questions. And I'm just gonna take some questions in, just quickly, quickly type them into your control box and uh, I'll get somebody here on my team to uh, give them to me and answer them as fast as I can. All right, the first question I see is, what is the schedule for the seminar? And uh, actually, I think I meant to cover that and I forgot about it, so let me give you what the schedule is. First of all, day one starts at one in the afternoon. So you can fly in, drive in, however you want to get there. But now we're going to do a full day of training, so it's going to go till 9 in the evening. So we're going to do a full day, so it's three full days. Day one just starts at 1 p.m., allowing people to come in, fly in, so they don't have to stay an extra day. Now, day two is going to start at 8 o'clock in the morning, and it's going to end between 5 and 5.30. So again, a full day of training. We'll have a couple breaks along the way. We'll just have an hour lunch break. Then on day three, we'll start at 8 o'clock, and I promise 
it will be over at 5. Now, you're going to have homework at night. These are three intensive days of learning. If you have other questions, type them in the chat box. The next question I see is, will this be different from your past ma marketing mastery events? And the answer is yes and no. The core elements of the seminar are still going to be there. We're going to teach you how to build your personal brand. We're going to teach you how to build your digital farm. But we've got some new things. We're going to expand some things. And because we're adding some things, we're going to have to cut a few things out. And uh, it'll be a little bit different. Plus, we're going to have Phil Herman there and some other agents. So let me tell you, it will be very powerful. I am very excited about this, not only because it's my last seminar, but because I've been working on some cutting-edge stuff that I'm so excited about. The next question is, my spouse is a mortgage rep. Will this apply to her business as well? And the answer is absolutely. If your spouse is in any service professional, you know, title rep, mortgage person, CPA, doctor, lawyer, plumber, any service profession, this will work incredibly well for them. Now, I do want to give you a warning. This is a real estate oriented seminar, so all the examples we're going to use, 100% of them are real estate agents. And your spouse is going to have to figure out how to say, well, gosh, how do I adapt this a little bit for my particular business? But the concepts, everything, the principles work. But I do want you to know all the principle, all the examples are going to be real estate. The next question is, <clears throat> when I leave, will I be able to create a landing page even if I only have a few computer skills? That's an interesting question. And the answer is... I know you probably don't want to hear this, maybe. I, I would love to say yes, but it depends a little bit on you. We're going to teach you the key elements of how to create great landing pages. Here's the key elements to go in it. I will also make some recommendations on where to go and get landing pages done for you or some tools that you can use to create landing pages yourself. Some people... The, the very concept of it confuses them. So I'm going to walk through you step by step, and here's what I can promise you. When you leave, you'll either know how to create one or how to get one created for you effectively and for very low dollars. It'll make a huge difference for you. And let me tell you, mastering landing pages, I think, is critical to your future. The next question is, do you really think I need to be in my YouTube videos? I get this question a lot. Yes, you have to be in your YouTube videos. People say, well, Greg, I don't like the way I look. Get over it. You're a realtor. You're in a public business. Do you think you actually want to meet your clients at some point in time? It's better to get them to know you before they meet you. I, I want you to understand there's just no way around this. So it is part of our business today. You have to do it. I know that's what not a lot of what agents want to hear, but it's the truth. The next question is, how do you use webinars as prospecting tools? <laughs> that's a good question. And there's so many different ways to use them. The best way to use a webinar as a prospecting tool is on your website. Offer, say, if you'd like to attend my webinar on how to buy your first home or how to prepare your home for sale. Or you create a variety of webinars and then you offer them on your website. You can also offer them in email, in a wide variety of things. They're also great for Facebook advertising. It's one of the easiest ways to get people to convert. And I'm going to teach you, here's how to create a webinar. Here's the key elements of going through it. Here's how to deliver it. And then, what are the steps to actually convert that attendee into a client? Remember that when they sign up for your webinar, you're going to get their name and contact information. And now, you get to actually teach them. They build a relationship with you in that webinar, and it's absolutely incredible. 
hopefully you feel like you are got to know me a little bit just from being on this webinar. That's the power. I'm going to teach you how to apply that. It is an incredibly powerful tool. The next question is, will you be covering how to do Facebook advertising? Yes, we're going to spend a lot of time on Facebook advertising and we're going to teach you how to do Facebook retargeting, a variety of different things so that you can effectively use Facebook as a advertising tool. We're also going to teach you a lot about social media, what you're going to be posting, but remember that there's a huge difference between what you post and advertising in social media. All right, the next question is, do you think it would be worth it to bring my spouse, spouse who is not in real estate? Yes, I definitely think it would be worth it. Now, if they don't have a service professional's job, they may not find it directly applicable to their job, but here's what I found. If you bring your spouse and they understand what you do, what you as a realtor do, it is incredibly valuable. And I've had so many people bring their spouses over the years and their spouses become totally engaged in their business and they become your cheerleader. They understand so much more. Unfortunately, we aren't good at communicating the challenges that we as realtors have to our spouse. And I promise they will leave with a whole new appreciation for you as an agent, as a person, and what you do as a realtor. All right, the next question is, it says technology makes me a little nervous. The idea of having to create a digital form scares me. Will I get value from the seminar if I don't want to use technology tools? And I'm not sure I know how to answer that. If you are not willing to use any technology tools, I have to say I don't recommend you come to the seminar. You, you know, but even if you're a little technologically challenged, you've got to push yourself to get beyond that because we are in the digital age and you have got to master these technologies. I, you know, so I don't know exactly what to tell you. I know there's going to be great value, but you're going to have to use some technology. The next question is, I'm new to real estate. Will this seminar still be valuable? If you are brand new to real estate, it will be incredible valuable. I have so many new agents that come to me and say, Greg, I am so glad I came to this as a new agent. I finally understand marketing. The things that you know I've been doing, I have just felt uncomfortable with the cold calling, the prospecting, the things that they're trying to get me to do. This makes so much more sense. And I've had so many experienced agents been around 20, 30 years say, Greg, gosh, I wish I would have attended this when I was brand new in real estate. It would have been such a launching point for my real estate career. The next question is, will you be teaching us how to use Pinterest? And the answer is no. For those of you who have been to my Marketing Mastery events in the past, I did have a little Pinterest section in there and I just took it out of the notes I'm working on because we've added so many more things, so many other places, so we will not be talking about Pinterest. I mean, we'll, we'll mention it, but we're not going to go in-depth on Pinterest. Um, I'm actually working on an in-depth Pinterest training program on GregHerderTraining.com that I should have ready in about uh, another 60 days or so, but we'll not be talking about that at the seminar. The next question says, I'm currently closing about 80 transactions a year, but I'm working all the time. Will attending help me improve my systems and give me more time off? And the answer is definitely. If you come, you are going to learn how to close so many more transactions. You'll learn from Phil Herman as he talks about what he's doing to close his incredible volume. That alone will be so much more valuable to you. And I promise you'll be able to double your productivity and have more time off and enjoy yourself so much more. 
Now, I see that we have run a little bit over our time. And I want to take as many questions as possible, and I see a whole bunch of them coming. But what I want to do right now is uh, wrap it up, and I want to make sure I do answer every one of your questions. So first of all, if you have a question, please email it to me. It's at greg at gregherdertraining.com. And I promise I'll respond within 24 hours. So to get signed up, just click on the button right here, right on the YouTube video here, and come see me in Las Vegas. Let me tell you, it'll have a huge impact. I want to thank you for your time here today, and I hope to see you in Las Vegas.